here we go. Hey guys, Eric here with Carolina Autos. Just wanted to do a quick video on what happened with the Camaro and the, the accident that I had uh, back on February 21st, 2022. So I was rear-ended sitting in a stoplight. Um, officer estimated that he was doing about 35 miles an hour or so, 35, 40 miles an hour. Um, Camaro took a pretty tough lick and so did I. So um, we waited after the accident, uh, pulled off the road. The Camaro did still run, although it, it broke the exhaust. Uh, so it was running kind of rough, kind of messed up the clutch because I was sitting there in gear, you know. Um, light was about to change actually. So we went and got a police report and everything. Uh, the day it happened, waited on a police officer. Uh, she was super nice. Got everybody's information. The other guy's car was in much worse shape than the Camaro. It was not drivable. He had airbags go off and everything. I didn't have any airbags go off. Went to the doctor. Um, I had a concussion. It knocked me out, actually. My head uh, slammed backwards into the headrest. To be completely honest, I was actually sitting there at the light looking down at my phone. So my head was down, and when he hit me, obviously, it threw my head back pretty hard. So it knocked me out. I had a concussion. Um, been going to a chiropractor for the last couple months. Like I said, it happened on February 21st. Uh, today is March 17th, so sorry um april 17th so it's been two months two months since uh since the crash so really just wanted to walk through show you guys some of the pictures of the damage so first it, it really doesn't look too bad at first glance but if you kind of zoom in a little bit and look closer so it pushed pushed the taillights in pushed the trunk in buckled the trunk up um you can see nothing lines up anymore almost took the bumper off actually punched completely through the, the diffuser down here, um, pushed all of this in two to three, three inches. They had to actually replace the frame rails under the trunk. We'll go through some more pictures of the damage here in a minute. Let's see, so if I go, well, I was hoping I could cycle through these. It's not, so you can see, Pulled the, uh, pulled the bumper cover down and away from the car. But that's a much better picture of kind of the damage and the extent of, of how far it pushed that bumper in. You can see the exhaust down here is, is actually missing. Um, we'll get to that here in a second. You can see just push the whole thing in. You can kind of see some of the, the underbody damage down here it, it did quite a bit of damage there's some frame rails that come out some trunk rails that come out under the trunk and kind of hold all this together it actually bent them so they had to thankfully they were bolt in and then when he hit me i rolled across the intersection and actually pushed up against a curb on the other side of the intersection um, so it got the front a little bit too kind of creased the fender there creased the fender there let's see that's just another closer picture of the damage there Got the splitter. And then now you can see what it did to the exhaust. So it actually hit the exhaust so hard it, it pushed my aftermarket exhaust, the MBRP, like back up under the car all the way to the uh, differential and everything. So pretty, pretty tough lick uh, to bend that. They were stainless steel, of course. They don't, they don't bend too easy. You can see here where it pushed all, all the reflectors and again more more of the exhaust damage and there's kind of the worst damage on the body uh, up close i don't know what exactly on his he, he was driving an suv i don't know what exactly went through that uh diffuser but did quite a bit of damage so we'll go walk out and just take a look around the car um and see what all what all they had to fix and kind of some things that I'm not completely happy with, you know, they, they, they couldn't quite get it back to perfect because um, they would have had to replace literally the whole back end of the car uh, to get everything to sit exactly flush. Uh, some of the body lines aren't ever quite going to be right again, probably. Um, I got two options there. Basically, I could go um, tell the insurance company, hey, it's not completely back to perfect. Drop it off for another couple months. Um, I'd rather not. I'd, I'd rather have the car. It's good enough for me. 
and I'm going to go after them for diminished value uh, instead of going the whole route of trying to get um, trying to get it exactly perfect. Um, so I'll take diminished value on it. And uh, I'm actually about to start a new job here in a couple weeks um, with a new company. The director of supply chain will be my role. So quite a bit more money. Um, I think the, the long play is to eventually sell my car. Um, you know, after the diminished value, I'll, uh, I can sell it for whatever I can get out of it with an accident uh, on its history. And then I think the play is to get a ZL1 at some point uh, in the next in the next eight to twelve months will be will be what I do. I'll keep making videos with the SS, of course, but uh, we'll go. Let's go walk around it and see the uh, see the results of them fixing it. We'll walk around the front and the back, just let you guys take a look. Hey guys, so as you can see, got the car back, all back from the repair shop. So let's flip it around and I'll show you guys some of the some of the fixes they did. So as you can see, here's the front that was damaged. Got rid of all of the marks that were on the front here. Still got a little spot on the splitter. They were not able to get a splitter from GM. Um, I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and kinda go over that. It's fine. Yeah, I would have had to wait like three months for a splitter or something crazy. Uh, they got the fender pulled back out. Got the fender liner back in, so this is all good to go. Let's go to the back. So as you can see, they got everything all fixed up. Got a new exhaust put on. I need to adjust the exhaust to have the tips stick a little further out. But yeah, it's all back together. So a couple things, a couple things that are imperfect, the body line. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, the trunk doesn't quite line up. Let's go over here. Again, on this side, trunk just doesn't quite line up like it's just supposed to or used to. You can kind of see there's a, a difference in height there. And then the taillights are pushed in a little bit. See, there's a bigger gap here than normal. Again, just need to get the exhaust kind of fixed up. But all in all, they did a pretty good job, I think, considering what it did look like. So yeah. So I am going to take it for a drive. So we'll be doing some POV drives like we used to do coming up. And anything else you guys want me to record with the car? Got a couple of requests. Um, Maybe talking about the differences between the SS and the V6 and the four-cylinder. Um, you know, I've had the V6 1LE, the SS 1LE, so I'll do a video talking about the differences, my opinions, and anything else you guys want to see, just let me know. And of course, it would not be a Carolina Autos video without a cold start. <laughs> All right guys, so I got to looking at some of the footage um, from inside the parking deck and I wasn't quite happy with how it turned out. So I figured I would drive out here and film a little bit in the sunlight because you'll be able to see. Sounds good, doesn't she? Uh, you'll be able to see the damage a little bit easier uh, out in the sunlight and I can back up from the car a little bit. So let me flip the camera around and do that real quick. So here you can see a lot better the repair work so you know just a couple of imperfections you know the the body lines don't quite match up as good as they used to you can kind of see that I mean it's just it's just never going to be completely right again again you can see kind of more of a gap between the tail lights and the trunk lid than there should be Some of these don't quite line up anymore. There's that gap again I'm talking about there. Another slight gap here. Or again, it just doesn't fit like it used to. And then obviously I need to fix the exhaust up a little better. It needs to come out a little more. But the tips realistically should be sticking, you know, just a little bit behind the bumper. Just keep stuff from flying up all over the back of the car. 
But she still runs good, still sounds good. And from 20 feet away, still looks good. So, I'll be happy with it for now. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will, sorry for the addendum, but like I said, I looked at some of the footage and I wasn't completely happy with how it turned out, so I think this will be a lot better. Um, you guys can see the car in the sunlight. It's a beautiful day, it's Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. And I'm just out driving around a bit. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.